Hey guys, welcome back to the garage, so to speak. Hey, I uh, did that video here a while back on the uh, AMT 72 C10 that I modeled after my uh, my one-to-one -one truck. Well, uh, I've had that in a couple different shorts uh, in the past there, but uh, I just thought maybe it's about time uh, uh, for a walk around. I know I've talked about it on occasion, so I just figured I'd do a walk around on it, show you guys in a little bit more in detail. After all, if we didn't have the big ones, we wouldn't be able to work on the little ones. So uh, let me get the camera turned around here. Let's do a walk around on this good old truck. Uh, hang on one second. All right, this is a 1972 Chevy C10 pickup. Uh, there's those uh, crunching the leaves here. So uh, there's those rallies like I put on the, on the model. Uh, she's rusty, but uh, man, she still gets you down the road. It's still uh, capable of a, uh, hauling a full uh, half a cord of wood, uh, heaping half a wood at one time. Got some pallets in there. Uh, a friend of mine gave me the pallets. I'm going to cut them up, use them as kindling in the stove. But uh, the bed's not the greatest shape uh, anymore. Uh, I got this board down here. It's weak in the center there. So I just got that board in there for now. It helps. Uh, but she's still... Uh, Still capable of doing the job, guys. I'll take you inside here real quick. So, shows the uh, odometer. Now, this had uh, the odometer showed uh, 60,636 when I got it. Uh, so, as you see, I've put I put over well over 40,000 miles on this thing. I uh, bought it in 2012, and uh, been a good old truck, guys. I've got done a lot of driving haven't haven't gone real real long distances at one time but uh, just a lot of short local driving a lot of wood hauling in it and uh, uh, just say just a good old truck something about just a couple little tidbits uh, this here uh, the signature of 72 which the model depicts as well uh, this was the only year they had the integrated uh, armrest in the door panels this one one piece plastic door panel uh the 70 71 would have just had uh, like a bolt on uh armrest right here so this is signature 72 as well as this right here uh this is for this uh vent wing that extends down in the door there uh, uh they used to just spot weld those and they would tend to break a lot so 72 they uh, they put a screw in there so we don't have any of that issue that works nice and free. Get my arm out of the way for you. But that works nice and free there. Uh, but that's uh, so if you ever see that, uh, that's uh, uh, definitely a '72 door. So just a little bit of information there. Uh, something else '72 would have had specific would have been the rear view mirror would have been mounted on the windshield. Uh, somebody's added this and I don't know. Uh, what that's from but it kind of monkeyed it up up there a little bit, but I mean it works just day nightmare So that works. All right uh, bench seat factory bench seat uh, Gas tank still behind the seat So it's still back in there uh, And again automatic 350 turbo transmission automatic uh, now I put a hand choke on this uh, because the uh, uh, the other carburetor that automatic unit on there just wasn't working right so I just cut to the chase I had issues with it so we went to the hand choke there and uh, but yeah fun old truck uh, the radio there the factory radio it went bad uh, a number of years ago so I found this one at a local uh, at a local uh, uh, radio shop that's an old uh, an old AM FM uh, radio and yeah, got the wires all tucked up in there nice so you don't see any of the wires. And uh, put new hoses there, defroster hoses on it. Them from LMC. Just a couple of the small little things that I've done to it on the inside. Put a new dome light in it so it's pretty nice and bright. Okay, that's from LMC as well. So let's go on outside. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop the hood on this little girl. And this guy's right here. Now this I painted. That's a, a, a Dodge Dodge Chrysler uh, R4 red, which really kind of closely matched the rest of the truck. So I just mixed that up one day and shot that through my airbrush on there. So and it's uh, I just cleaned it up, did some sand, and put a little filler in it, and uh, very very little filler, and it's still pretty solid. 
one of the most solid parts on the whole truck. And there's just rallies again. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hood, under the hood here. So there's a six cylinder engine, 250. Uh, and then here's like, like on the model that I did, uh, you see the distributors mounted here and on that 60 from that kit that I took that from, the distributor would have been mounted back here. And so I just moved it forward on the kit too. And this is the 250, of course. Uh, and one way they, were, they had a 250 and 292 this year. Uh, and one way you tell the difference is the 292, the fuel pump is mounted behind the motor mount there. So that's how you tell this is a 250, just by you know a quick glance. And then there's that side post, side post battery. Uh, that's about what a lot of, I guess a lot of the GMs was switching over, and I don't know a whole lot on that history there, but was a lot of them was switching over to the uh, side post terminal. So this was factory on this truck. And then uh, there's the power brake booster. I put that on uh, about a year ago. I think it was a year ago, 4th of July, I put that on. Made a huge difference. Still got the manual steering. So I don't have a power steering on it, at least not yet. Uh, but that made a nice, uh, that sure made a nice improvement to that. And then this air cleaner, I had, my original one would have set here. Uh, but because of all this, had to get this. This is like off of a, uh, I think it's off like a 74 square body. And it gives you this, uh, this spout right here. And then extends that over the, the valve cover there. Now this I just had to kind of make up because uh, it didn't have anything uh, you know, that came with it. So I kind of had to make what, with what I had. Seems to work all right. But I uh, put a new radiator in it uh, since I've had it. I've had two, I put two water pumps in it, put a heater core in it, which guys, I mean, yeah, we're talking, uh, we're talking probably an hour and a half max on changing that thing. You don't have to rip half the dash out like on these new ones. But anyway, so yeah. Uh, so let's just, uh, there's that egg crate grill. Now 71 would have had a black band all the way around the, outs the outside here. I think it was like up in here. It had a black band all the way around. That's a 70, would have been a 71 grill. So uh, hey, let's just hop in and fire it up here. I did drive it back here, so it, it's been running, so we shouldn't need to set the choke. So we'll go ahead and fire it up here for you. So she starts to come on focus for me. There you go, buddy. So yeah, so she uh, she still runs out nice. Uh, got a good heater. You got to have that here in this part of the country in the winter. So. But yeah, yeah, she runs good still, guys. Said I've done several things, put a new manifold on it, and uh, and got her running. Uh, as I said, I bought this in 2012, and uh, it's it's mainly it's mainly right now my wood hauler. It needs a couple other things, you know, uh, to be real comfortable on the road. But I mean, I can take it I can take it across town and back without any problem. So, but uh, but yeah, just a good old truck, guys. I said I had, had never really done a walk around on it, but this is what I based uh, based the model on. Now this floor is going to need repaired. It's uh, it's getting pretty bad shape, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So I need to get on that uh, really really soon. But uh, but that's it, guys. 72 C10 classic truck, plain Jane. Uh, not a whole lot of options on it. Uh, but uh, just a good old truck. Old school cool, guys. And there's those mirrors. As I interrupt myself again, <laughs> there's those mirrors like in the kit, which I thought was pretty cool. So uh, we make a pretty good exact uh, replica there. So, but anyway, guys, all right. That's just a fast, uh, just a fast walk around on the truck. Uh, just thought I'd share that with y'all. Uh, that's where we get our inspiration for our models. Uh, if we didn't have the real thing, we wouldn't have any fun on the bench. So, all right, guys, uh, that's all I got for now on this one. I just wanted to drop by and uh, share that with you. So uh, with that, I'm going to say uh, so long for now. This is Eric Merrick's Model Garage. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and happy modeling.